camera rolling. Action. occasion. Which it is. No, it's it's good. I thought I'd dress up too. Okay, yeah, you look fine. Yeah, this is the hot cuisine of garments. What? Nothing. Nothing. So um how are you? I'm fine. How's Rudy? We're fine, Terry. How are you? I mean where have you been lately, Terry? I got a postcard from you from Alaska. Yeah, I was up there for a while. That was in the fall, Terry. I, I realised I've been out of touch. I was a little worried. Well, I've been lots of places. I was down in Florida for a little while. and I had a job in Orlando. I've been all over the place. I just wish you'd let me know that you were okay. Sorry, I just didn't realise we'd been so long. Are you going to stay in town for a while? I, I kind of have to get back to Worcester. Oh. So I can't stay for longer than a day or so. Look, that's okay. It's, I've got this schedule that I'm trying to stick to. It's, it's a long and worthy story, but I won't trouble you with it now. Are you expecting someone? Who would I be expecting? You just keep looking around, that's all. Oh, actually, I was just wondering if we could get some more refreshments. Sammy, there's something I've got to confess to you. Mm -hmm. The reason why you haven't heard from me in a while is because I've been unable to write on account of the fact that I was in prison for a little while. You were what? I did some time, I guess, in Florida, but it was just for bullshit. What? It was just bullshit. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. Did it ever occur to you for a second that maybe I was wronged? No. If you'll just Oh my like, god. If you'll please. What happened? I got into a fight in a bar down in Florida, and in no way was I the one who instigated it at all. But they worked up all this bullshit against me, and they threw me in the pen for three months. I didn't write to you because I didn't want to upset you. I just figured that you'd figure I was on the road for a little while. I know it was stupid, and I'm sorry, but I can't go around doing stuff and not doing stuff because it's going to upset you. Because then I come back here and I tell you about my fucking traumas, and I get this wounded little, I've let you down bullshit. And it really just cramps me. But yet here I am again in this fucking hole explaining myself to you again. Can you please stop cursing at me? I mean, I know that I'm in no position to basically say anything ever. But it's not like I'm in some redneck bar in Florida arguing with some stripper's boyfriend and I suddenly stop and think, hey, this would be a great time to stick it to Sammy and get myself locked up for a few months. I mean, welcome home. Hey, you don't write for me to six months. I have no idea where you are. I'm sorry. I have no idea whether you're alive or dead. I'm sorry. And then you show up out of nowhere and tell me you just got out of jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Sam. Sammy. What? 
I'm in a real predicament. What do you need? Money? Yeah. I'm broke. I need to get back to Worcester. I have this kind of girl down there, and she's in a really bad situation, Sammy. I just need a little bit of money, anything you can spare. Please, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back, man. I really wish Mum was here. So do I, man. Nobody knows what to do with you, Terry. I know how they feel. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you ever go to church anymore? I don't want to talk about that shit. Do you? No, I don't. Can you tell me why not? Because I think it's ridiculous. Can you tell me why not without denigrating what I believe in? I think it's primitive. A fairy tale. Have you ever considered that maybe that's part of what's making things so difficult for you? I mean... No. Not just that you've lost your religious feeling, but that you've lost hold of any kind of anchor, any kind of trust in anything. I mean, no wonder you drift around so much. What could ever stop you? How would you ever know if you didn't found the right thing? I'm not really looking for anything. I just kind of get on with it.